that looks cool, yeah? I watched it like 10 times and I already hate it, but this is a BMG Drive Cinematics. And today in this video tutorial I will teach you how to do the exact same cinematics. Huh. Sounds weird. Ok, let's start. First of all, we need to add a replace UI app. For this, we need to go into the BMG drive, UI apps, add app, search for replace and add replace UI app on the screen. You can move and resize it as you want. Later, we need to prepare our scene for cinematic. For this, I will spawn my car and five more random dudes. I want these dudes to follow me, so I go into the radio menu, AI, and select follow me. And then we press this red circle on the replace UI app and start our recording. For all your cinematics, I advise you to make your replay no longer than 2 minutes. When we recorded our replay, we hit that like button, I mean this red button again, to end it. Now we need to make a camera pass for our cinematic. We need to press an F11 button to open the world editor and in the world editor we select this icon, which means camera pass. In here we need to press new, link to current replay and also we need to change off to 30. After it we need to adjust our camera position to record first frame. Once we did it we need to press add marker button. After it you slightly unpause your recording using spacebar, then pause it again, relocate the camera and add new frame. And now you need to repeat it during all your replay. There is no need to take frames too often, but you need to find the perfect position where at the same time you need the car to stay in the frame and the picture to be smooth. Yeah, it takes some time, but it of course worth it. And also, when you get with it, you will do it much faster. You can experiment with different camera angles as you like. For example, here I filmed a car from the side. It looks quite nice. The main thing is not to change the position of the camera too sharply or too quickly. The camera will gradually move between all the frames that you set and it takes some time. So, if you need a good cinematic, you need to learn how to change the position of the frames gradually without breaking the camera pass. Also, we need to check this blue line. This is a future pass of the camera and if it crosses any objects, it will look not very nice. I spent some time checking this blue line and spoiler, in one place the camera does cross the floor and I didn't notice it. And after we have made the camera pass for entire recording, we press the play close the editor button and enjoy our cinematic. So just lay down beside me, give me all your issues, I'll take them and I'll make them mine. Don't get caught up in your feelings, just feel them, it's okay if you wanna cry. I know 